Hi. So yesterday when I was saying I was gonna vlog every day, remember that? Or it was yesterday, remember that? Yeah. I didn't realize until I went to bed, really, I was crawling into bed and I was like, I told people I was gonna make a video tomorrow, so I have to do that. Cool. And then today, for the last like hour of my life, I've been trying to record and I literally, honestly, really, like can't talk. I'm so rambly and I've forgotten how rambly I was when I talk about not books. But let's just acknowledge right now that vlogging is difficult. I don't really heavily script my videos anyway. This is less scripting than I usually do because usually it's like, let's talk about a book, let me write out all this stuff or I'm gonna do a tag or something and then I'm gonna like write out what I'm doing. This is just kind of like bullet points and Oh my gosh, the rambling. And I'm doing it right now. I am rambling right now and I'm gonna stop. So now that we've acknowledged that, actually, let's just go ahead and talk about how weird being a YouTuber is because why not? I recently put my channel on my resume, the one that like you hand to people and ask them to give you a job. And it's really weird because I never thought that I would like do that. I don't know, I used to be super embarrassed about my videos. I used to not want anybody to ever know and I think that being able to answer the question, what are your videos about with books, as opposed to like, I don't know, like me, I think that is a contributing factor. But the weird thing about people finding out, especially like job people, when they're like interviewing you, cause I had an interview with some people and I didn't get the job, but that's okay. And they were asking me questions like, what inspired you to start making videos? To which I had to respond, I was bored. Like I could have lied and said something else, but I just, I get so nervous in interviews that I just tell the truth and sometimes that's not always the answer they want to hear, so eh. And then there were questions about how I interact with my fans. Inside I just cringed at the word fans because I just, that makes me uncomfortable. And then there was like, I don't know, I like tweet and stuff and I'm like, oh, well, how do you like format your tweets? And I'm like, format? <laughs> wait, what? I don't understand. Are you on like a schedule for tweeting? And I was just like, oh no, I am not. <laughs> I'm barely on a video schedule. <laughs> It was so weird. I understand though because I know it's hard for people to like kind of wrap their mind around it and people are so used to like things being very, I don't know if corporate is the right word for it, but for it being kind of this is how this and I have a formula to get this one thing. Like how did you grow your channel? I just talked into a camera and I uploaded videos regularly and then people watch them. Like I don't have a strategy, I don't have any of this stuff and it's kind of hard to explain that to people. I don't know, it's a bit weird. But yeah, I don't know, what was this video? I'm gonna get better at this hopefully because this is really bad, so. All right, I guess I'm done. Hope you guys are having a good day and I guess I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye, yeah.